and thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of the NISBA Mailbag. I'm Marilyn Morey from NISBA's Leadership Development Team. Today's question is, should my board consider conducting a board retreat? And if so, who should attend? A board retreat or training is an excellent way to ease through a transition of new members, improve specific skills, or learn about a particular topic. The ultimate goal of a board retreat is better governance and teamwork leading to a more effective school board. This directly translates into greater student achievement and national research proves that. Typically, a board retreat is initiated by the board president, vice president, or superintendent. Goals, learning objectives, and an agenda are then drafted for the board and superintendent's review and finalization. Usually the entire board attends along with a superintendent. It's important to have everyone there. There are many retreat topics. Here are just a few. Roles and responsibilities of board members and the superintendent. Policies and operational procedures or the goal setting process. Does NISBA facilitate board retreats? Absolutely. We call them custom improvement programs or CIPs. Each CIP is customized to the specific school board's needs and aims to improve the way they conduct district governance. CIPs can be four or eight hours in length and can be delivered whenever it's most convenient, a weekday, evening, or even on the weekend. So there you have it, the long and short on board retreats. Thanks for joining. And remember, keep sending your questions to mailbag at nisba.org.